good guys? Welcome back to the channel for another video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how you can cast your iPhone or Android screen to OBS. No cables required, and you get audio to go with it. I tested a variety of applications that can perform this function, and I found as a close second place at least, that A Power Mirror was pretty good. It ran pretty well on Mac OS and Windows, but at least on the Windows version, you have a 10 minute screen casting recording limit. No! And though the screen casting quality was pretty good using A Power Mirror, I found that when you were doing more movement task on the phone, that it would be a little stuttery, a little jumpy, and not completely smooth like we want it to be. So that brings me to my number one application that I am showing you guys for this video, and that's the app called Let's View. You're gonna wanna download this app on your mobile phone, and you're gonna wanna download the respective application on your Mac OS or your Windows computer. Once you've installed the mobile application, go ahead and launch it, and then you wanna make sure that your phone and your computer are on the same internet and Wi-Fi connection in order to find each other. So that means the Wi-Fi that you see listed on the mobile app should be the exact same that you're connected to on the computer. So if you have that good to go, go ahead and launch the app on the computer. One quick thing before you load up your screencast is that you wanna check your settings. So you can do that by just clicking on the hamburger icon here, select settings, and then go to the display settings tab and then within here, you can select your AirPlay resolution. So for me, I would recommend going with 1920 by 1080. You might have the default 1280 by 720, so probably put it to 1920 by 1080 so it looks a little bit sharper. Um, but once you're good with that, you can go ahead and X out of there. Now you can start sharing your screen to your computer by just swiping up on your mobile phone and then selecting screen mirroring, and then from there, you can select the let's view option. We got the game picture coming through, we got the audio coming through, so now let's go ahead and launch OBS, and then within one of our scenes here, we're gonna wanna add a new source. That source, we're gonna want it to be a window capture. And then just make sure you select the let's view application, which you should see in the dropdown right there. Go ahead and select okay, and then you'll see it on your screen. So now once you have it like this, you wanna full screen it so that it fits your whole 1920 by 1080 canvas. So you can do that by just right clicking, go to transform, and then within here, you wanna fit to screen. And after it's like this, you can kinda get rid of these black borders and also this uh, header at the top by selecting the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Mac, and then just crop in the top like so, and now it's completely flush with my canvas. You'll probably notice the responsiveness of the game on your phone compared to your computer should be almost perfectly in sync, and that should be the same in OBS. But now how about getting your audio recorded as well? So just to, to make sure you're getting that, just go to your settings real quick, go to audio, and then within here, where you see desktop audio, you're gonna to wanna to select either your speakers or your headphones. One of these two down here, whichever your speakers are or your headphones, go ahead and select that. And if you do and select okay, you'll have your audio coming through as its own source within your mixer. For those of you guys out there that are on Mac OS and you need to get your desktop audio into OBS, then you're gonna to wanna to download the I Show You software if you're on an Intel-based Mac. Now, if you're on an M1-based Mac, then you're gonna wanna download I Show You Instant and then download the SWB drivers. I put links to the description of what you're gonna to need to download as well as videos I've created on this channel so that you guys know exactly how to install this software. If you're not on Mac, you can see it's a whole lot easier and you're all set to go. Once you're done playing your game, you can go ahead and exit out and that's it. By the way, everything that I showed here will also work on Streamlabs OBS. So that's gonna wrap up this tutorial for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit it with a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel with the post notifications on so you don't miss any future videos or live streams that I'll do on this channel. I will say the only hiccup that I came across using Let's View is first off, the quality isn't that sharp, but it's not that bad for a free application. And one time I was using it and the audio shifted off, like the it just 
there was an audio delay. If that happens, just get out of whatever current screen cache that you're in and load up a new one and the audio delay should be fixed. But I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.